Hello, I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time in the Kitchen. And in the kitchen this week, we are going to be making some things that are beautiful, and we're going to be preparing a delicious meal for your family. So, in our kitchen, we're going to be loving on our friends and family. We're loving God, and we know that anything and everything else is just gravy. Let's show them a little love, and I welcome you into the family. Take care. Today in the kitchen, we are going to create a lantern swag and to put a lantern together that I think will look lovely right here in the kitchen. So if you're interested in what we're going to do with these beautiful spring flowers, stay tuned. Okay, well I'm starting with a branch of, uh, it looks a little bit like eucalyptus, but I know it's not. But I'm starting with this greenery to be, and I've left it pretty long. I did trim it just a bit, and I'm going to kind of round it out a bit because it's going to need to drape over this lantern. And actually, I can use it on just about any lantern. Now, next, I want to be able to add some additional items to it. So for instance, I want a little bit of lavender, and what I'm going to do is to take a little fine, uh, very tiny zip tie, and I am going to zip tie this securely to this branch. I'm using a small black zip tie so that it will be, uh, will not be so easily seen. And I've trimmed this particular bunch. This was a bunch that I got from Walmart. I trimmed it so that I could uh, just have the number of little branches that I wanted it to have. Okay, now it's a part of what we're looking at. Now you have to remember the swag is going to hang this way. So let's, we have secured it so I can actually work with it. I can pull things apart and since it's wired, I can move the pieces and that will enable me to see all of the different parts of this particular swag. Now I also know we need a little bit of white. The good thing about white is that it helps to lighten and brighten your arrangement. So I'm going to lay this in, not exactly sure where I'm going to keep it, but we need a little bit of white. So I'm going to put this in and I am going to take another zip tie and I'm going to secure it, secure this as well. And when you do each one like this, it allows you first of all to make sure that that particular item is where you want it and that it's tight enough. So I am typing this and I'm going to trim it. Now once we finish, you're not going to see any of these little ties at all. Now I'm not going to do a lot of rearranging at this point because what's going to happen, once the main flowers go in, you're going to go, hmm, okay. I hadn't realized we wouldn't be able to see any of that. Now, I have a nice large peony. And that peony is going to need to be able to peek up from hanging down on the swag like this. So, I have to decide exactly where and how far down I want that peony to go. Now, do I want it close to where the ribbon's gonna be or do I want it farther down? And I think I'm gonna make it kind of a mid-range. So I'm going to secure that peony. And, you know, with all of these things being wired, we can move and adjust along the way. So that's what I'm doing, is that I'm enabling myself to be able to make adjustments twist and 
pull and to put things where I want them to be. So I am attaching the peony. And I'm not gonna secure it totally down tight because I do want it to turn a particular way. So I'm kind of settling it in between the branches. And then its adjustment won't be so difficult. So I can, it is a heavy wire. So I can play with that once we get it Okay. Okay, so we have our peony secured, and I will tighten it down a little more after we get more of the items onto this main branch. Now, I think with it being spring, I want a few uh, tulips. And uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna play with their placement. I have some red ones. I have a little peach one. And I have left these together purposely because I want to work them in with the penny so it looks like they're all in a grouping together. And uh, I think I like that. Let me see what I got. Now, if I wanted to add another, I could actually add another pink into the mix, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'm going to place these little um, tulips in. I'm gonna scoot them down just a little so that they're more toward the bottom, because like I said, this swag does swag that means it hangs down and we're going to need to uh, have it in such a position that we can play with each of them so i'm going to put this in Now what I have to decide at this point is what kind of bow do I want to put in? And you know, I change bows so much. And I think what I'm going to do at this point, I usually leave about this much of the, I put my hand in there for the bow. We're not going to need all of these very, very, very thick uh, pieces down here. So I'm going to eliminate those. I'm going to take those off. And there, so we have that together. Now I will further secure this with a nice big um, zip tie later. But for right now, let's lay, lay this right here and I hope you can see exactly where I'm laying it. So that you can see that. And we are going to work a flower. All right, I gathered up all the little pieces that I didn't think I was going to use and I put them together just like that. And that included the little, some of the leaf clippings from the forsythia and uh, I just added all of that in so that it would be a part of the little grouping. Now, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the bottom of the first grouping and this is where we're going to have to pull in the heavy duty Ziploc and I'm going to put my fist right here at the bottom of the first grouping because that's where the bow is going to go and I am going to lay 
the bottom of this grouping in. So that goes right there in the middle. Now, I'm going to take my zip tie and I'll probably, even though this is really, really heavy, I'm probably going to need two. So this is the first one. Okay, that's the first one. Kind of place it where you want it and however you want that to turn. I think I'm going to turn it this way right there and then I'm going to lock it down. Okay, that's the first one. Now I'm going to grab a second one, a second heavy duty, and I'm going to lock down this other end. Okay, I've got the second one. I'm going to come here. And I am going to tug and tug and tug and tug until there's not a not any movement whatsoever and those two are going to be locked in now the good thing about this guys is that say next year when spring comes if i want to add different flowers i can always clip these zip ties and add in additional items now i made a bow that has my uh, black and white check, picks up my pink, and it fits right there in the center. But let's see what else we can add into this bow. I kind of like that, but I think I'll add a little something extra to it. Okay, I'm going to, I added in some lighter pink. And once we start to work all of this in together, you're going to see that uh, the light pinks of the tulips and the peonies are just going to pick up. But before I do that, I'm going to flip it over so you can see on the back. I worked in a zip tie because what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and I am going to zip tie this to my swag. So let me find the other end. Turn it over. Move that out of your way so you can see. And this is a large, heavy duty zip tie. And I am going to zip tie this as tight as I can to the swag. All right. Now, I'm going to turn it over because that's what you're really going to see. When it's all said and done and I'm going to be I'm going to fluff 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 I'm going to pull those pinks in between so we have lots of black we have lots of pink but we have a swag in process that is going to be going on top of a black lantern so let me go get the lantern and then we're going to be ready to add it Okay, I brought in my black lantern and you see I've got a little bunny inside of it. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is that I'm going to take those two ties that I left down at the bottom. I had a, a black one and a pink one and I'm going to take those and that's what I'm going to use to tie this on. And I'm going to tie it right around the little knob at the top. And you're going to tie it pretty tightly because you don't want it to really move once you get it in place. So I'm going to start it here. And I'm going to uh, play with the ends of it. I'm going to need to do a little trimming of it. And I can already see I'm going to need to do some working of the flowers because I don't want them sticking up wild and I want them to I have to bend 
and to move and uh, you want it to look nice from both ends of the, of the lantern. So I'm going to come over here on your side so I can see what you're looking at. And I like this and I like the way it's, it's turned and it's moving. I like the little pink loops there. That black and white here. Little pink loops there. And remember, I'm looking at it from several standpoints, not just looking at it from a visual standpoint of this is where the lantern is. I want some of those tulips to show. I want some of the, I want it to look like the wind is blowing and moving my pieces. So I have my peony in place, I have my bow in place, our buddy is in place, and now I think I can go to the back and I can actually tie a nice bow. So let's get that part done. And I think I'll try to do, may do each one individually, each of the colors. Okay. So, I'm going to work on that from the back. My loop is in the way. A little loop from the lantern. And this is a little Walmart lantern. And I tell you what, it works in everywhere. Because it's so neutral, because it does not have glass, and it's open, you can put anything inside of it and uh, give it a cute finish look. I use it a lot in my entry, as well as on coffee tables or whatever table I want it to be on. So, I've got that one trimmed. I think I'll leave the little pinks. I'm just gonna trim those. Get my scissors, give them the little V tie. There's one, and another little V tie here, there, and to the back, I'm going to add a little sign. You can see that it says, love you more. So regardless of where I sit it, I can sit it in my, right here in the kitchen on the counter, and I think that's exactly what I'll do. I'm going to use this on the counter in the kitchen. So I'm going to take you around so you can take a look at it. And I'll also give you a shot of what it looks like on the counter. So I'm going to clean up and uh, get all of these little pieces put away. And I'll let you have a look, a look-see on the counter. Now, because this is on a black uh, counter of granite, it may not be quite as easy to see as I'm thinking it should be, but we're going to try it anyway. And uh, I'm going to uh, try to get you in, try to get you close, where you can see this lantern. It shows up so pretty. And... Uh, I don't know how smoothly, there we go, that we can get a good look at it. You can see our peony. You can see how the pinks and the, the um, baby's breath just kind of brings out the colors. There's a little bit of spring for Scythia. We've got in our black and white, as well as this pink dotted Swiss that is just setting things off because it brings in the penny as well as the tulips and so i'm very very happy and my counter is ready for spring now i don't know if you notice that in the background i have a picture that's back there and that's kind of our 
tech center, but mainly for the grandkids. The grandkids use this television all the time. And let's see if I can bring it in. But I have a little picture that I keep there when uh, they are not here. It says, just when I thought my life was all organized, I became a grandmother. And of course you can see that it's outlined in the black and white check with those peak peonies as well. And uh, I think the two of them together just look absolutely wonderful. So I'm gonna see if I can back up, give you a little better shot. There's our bunny and uh, give you a look so you can see that sweat. And the black just blends in and mainly what you really see uh, is the bunny. You can see of course the placemat that I'm using underneath of that metal uh, lantern that is also white background with little pink uh, cherry blossoms actually and uh, you can see our sway. So I'm real happy with that. This turned out great and it blends well with our kitchen. Now, so, if there's something else you'd like to see me do, we still have the coffee bar to do, we still have our, our kitchen vignette challenge yet to do that I'm looking forward to, and uh, so we've got a lot of fun things yet to do here in the kitchen. I hope you'll check out some of the other spring videos of 2020 with uh, the refrigerator basket, with the bird cage with the window wreaths, and I'll do a kitchen tour in the end. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the kitchen of Ebony Ivy and Time where we work hard. We love God and family, and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. Blessings to you and have a wonderful week. I am so glad that you took time today to stop by the kitchen. It's a rainy, yucky day today. And um, certainly, we want to be able to do things that are more fun, bring us sunshine on a cloudy day. So I decided to do this lantern. And you know what? Having you here in the kitchen with me was very special. So, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week. I hope you go home and try this, this lantern swag and to bring some sunshine.